All right, look who rolled into town again. I'm out with uh, Mike and Daniel. We have uh, scoops, we have detectors, we, uh, we have sand. We're gonna find stuff. All right, our first target is the 2726, right about there. Let's get rid of this bottle cap. Whatever this thing is, uh, I've scooped once or twice already and I started over and I just keep, keep losing it like that. And I go like that. I think I have it this time. Something really small. I see it finally. That took a few tries. It is, it's a little tag and it says, I-S, S-I, J-S maybe, maybe J-S. It's a tiny, oops, my wire's in the way. It's a tiny little, I don't know, just a little logo tag, pendant, something or other. 2930. It's a deep one. Still down there, 28. That's it. It's a, just a super deep blue pull tab. Seventy-six. See a little something there? Not yet. I think we have it. It is a dime. An exciting dime. Guys are way down there already. I'm trying to catch up. I've got something here that's it's like alternating 55 and uh, 57. Yeah, 55. Another deep one. Come on. Fifty-five. Maybe right there, let's see. There we are. This one looks like oh those little aluminum the tiny bottle caps sound pretty good sometime. All right, this one looks like a 47.48. Yeah, 47.48. I think I have it. Take a chance and shake it out. There it is. It's a, a very small fishing weight. A little bit of a a bit of a pit dug right there and I've got right next to it a 60 penny maybe yeah could be and it is a penny Ew. oh not bad not bad wipe the sand off it's only partially eaten up all right so 30 Oh, there it is, pool tab. Pool tab, right there. Negative 10. And, oh, it's a safety pin. Big one. Yeah, not a lot of, uh, not a lot of wedging going on at the wedge today. It's uh, relatively calm. This place can get, uh, Unreal once in a while, it's it's pretty flat. Daniel totally missed this pull tab right here. How dare he leave without getting the pull tab? He knew it was here too. It's a deep one too. Could be a nickel, it's going down to like 26 now. Yeah. Ooh, it could be a nickel. 
My money's on nickel, I think. And it is a nickel. It wasn't a pull tab. How dare you leave money behind? Okay, this one is pretty much hot garbage, but we're gonna look anyway because we're getting like 38.40 now. But a whole lot of iron in there as well. Maybe it's something good attached to a piece of iron. And it is, oh, it's just a paper clip. Uh, there's nothing good about that. I think he just met, he just missed this one here too. A penny, I'm sure. I'm sure of it. One scoop. Look at that. Like a pro. Copper penny too. All right, something good here. Well, nice high ringing tone, probably like a dime. Now it's it's dropping down to like 75, 76. And it's over here. What is it? Uh, is it that thing? What is that? It's like a seed or something. Oh, it is a dime. There it is. Am I blind? It's a dime. All right, there is a 6-7. And it is... It's one of those wrappers. Well, thanks for playing safe, kids. This one sounds terrible. A real high tone that way, and then it goes real low there. I'm expecting a big surprise. Oh, it is a surprise. It's a giant, uh, well, it's not giant, but it is a big butter knife. It is a big, it is a big knife. I don't have butter knives that big. Look at the size of that thing. My goodness, and it is stainless steel. Yes. Surface find underneath the lifeguard tower. Oh, and it's plastic, uh, it's like but it looks metal. Oops, hit my head. Yeah, we'll just pretend it's metal. Nice, 50 something. That's a weird, probably a weird zinc penny. Oh, one of these. <laughs> Why would that be like a three and then uh, those kind of do what they want. Sitting those sideways. It's nice and like round. It's not wrinkled or creased or anything. Yeah. We got, oops, oops, let's do this. <laughs> I've got a five. See if you can hear that with my, my little earbud next to the mic. And, oh, it's still there. It's a really, really steady five. It's probably that, uh, Wet white, oh, it's a crushed red, crushed red pepper pack. Somebody had pizza, lucky. And another 28. Couple scoops down, let's see. There it is. Right in there. And it is a nickel. Ooh, it's an older one. Here is that thing. It's really beat up. I can tell you it's from way back in the 1900s. 25, 26. 25 to 29. All right. And it is, what is it? Is it gone? Is it even in the, in there? I don't know. I don't see it. I was expecting either a nickel or a, a super snaky pull tab. Is it that little rock right there? I don't know. It's not that. It's right in here. Oh, it's that. It's really... That's heavy. It's a piece of lead, probably. Maybe it's a gold nugget. Probably not, it's super heavy though. It is probably lead. Eric says just plain old foil. Live dig here. Three, four on the 800. Oh no. 
Yeah, there's no. Like oh, yeah. I think you foil, foil wrapper. Uh -huh. I just, I, I just jumped in front of Mike and grabbed his, his target here. <laughs> My uh, bumper was slightly in front of him, so I had right away. And it is a bottle cap, not a ring. It's a bottle cap. For just a split second, I thought oh, it was wait, a. 40. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's, it's it's your bottle cap. What am I doing with your bottle cap? Right. Um, <laughs> All right. While he's busy with those pull, those pull tabs. Tab. It's funny, the colored ones seem to ring up higher. He's got a pull tab spill there. I'm working on a negative eight with a little a little splash of 24. What could that be? It's just a little sliver of. What is that? Is that a rock? Oh, it's in here. Oh, problem is we gotta get down there and look now. Oh, there it is, bobby pin. We should have guessed it. Uh, is that a little piece of nail? Yeah, this is going to be, don't even watch, this is not worth it. I, I was just staying, I was staying busy while you were doing that and I, do, I'll figure, I'll hard. dig, I figure I'll dig this little tiny piece of wire here because that's so worth it. All right, I think we've had it here. We're gonna head out, maybe try another beach. Uh, and if that doesn't work out, maybe we'll just eat something and do a really uh, crummy wrap up because I didn't find anything. But we'll still release this video because you'll want to see all the excitement. Yeah. All right, we're back. We found another beach to go to. It is extremely high tide right now. Uh, it looks like they've carved up the sand a little, so maybe they've disturbed it enough uh, for us to find some things. Let's let's give it a try. A real jumpy one here. That one is a bell. A potential target over here. Where was it? A mixed up high tone. Some deep, fluffy fluffy sand. And that one is, what is that? A rock? Hmm. A pistachio shell? Oh, I dropped it. Is it that little thing right there? It is. It's a box. Hmm. No idea. It's just a little metal box. We've reacquired, we lost a target and it's it's over here now. It's a 20, maybe a 28. 27, 28. Thought I had it a minute ago and it just slipped away from me. I think it's just falling through. It's right there. It's a uh, 22 caliber shell casing. All right, a little something here in the uh, playground connected to the beach. 63, 64. And it's a penny. All right, let's see if we got something other than other than a pull tab. Oh, it is a nickel. Oh my goodness, a nickel. How happy are we about that? That's probably the best thing we found on this beach. Well, this is the last target, it's getting a little dark. And we need to get going. Mid 60s. And I think I have it. Wiggling the camera all over, sorry about that. And, and, and it is, it's a screw. Great, we got screwed. All right, that's it for today. Let's do the, the wrap up. Not a great, not a great day for fines, I'll admit. A really lousy day for fines, but a really good day for hanging out. It was nice to see Pirate Mike again. I haven't seen him in a little while. And obviously Monterey, Magnet Man Daniel, he was there as well. Good to see those guys. Check out their videos if you wanna see. They found a bit more. They were out a little longer today. I kind of 
caught the hunt on the tail end of the day, so I didn't I didn't have as much hunting time and I didn't find as much. So let's just go through it, right? We've got this unusually long knife, <laughs> much longer than your average knife that comes with your inexpensive uh, stainless, you know, dinnerware. We've got this ten steak and a paper clip, and then we've got a, a twenty-two shell casing that's been looks like it's been fired this little guy i thought was a was a gold nugget it's real heavy it's probably lead but who knows maybe i'll uh scrape it's really light colored found it in the dry sand but it's probably just a blob of lead uh this little guy is a probably a button like i'm guessing like a chair or umbrella release this little thing it's a uh, green and oxidized it's real sharp right there i don't know what it is we'll look at it under the microscope i'll show you i'll show you this guy under the microscope too it's a little js tag with a little chain on it i'm not sure what that's to or what brand name that is this little piece of it's a piece of chain and mike thought it might be a piece of silver chain i don't think so i've already taken a peek at it it looks like copper we'll look at that under the microscope also a paper clip a fishing weight and this uh, cool little jingle bell here it's in pretty good shape a little rust on it okay our change count is let's see seven pennies three nickels and two dimes and that's it no quarters nothing else uh, yeah no that's all we got today sorry guys wish we found something better but uh, again it was really nice to hang out with the guys Always fun to hunt with other people, especially your friends. And thanks for coming along. And I guess that's all I got for you. We'll see you again in the next one.